Welcome back to the FlareBar.com show. Your host, Ben Rose, with you again. And some of you might recognize the gentleman next to me, but it's Mr. Eric Parker. How you doing, sir? Fantastic. You doing all right? Everything going good? Everything's going pretty smooth. So for those, right now. those watching that don't know, you're currently living? In Reno, Nevada. Reno. How, how's Reno these days? The show Reno 911. <laughs> Is it anything like it? It's exactly like it. Is it really? Because I, I actually dig the dude that wears his bulletproof vest on the outside. You know? <laughs> it, it's really cool. Cool thing. And where are you working at now? Uh, Silver Legacy Casino. Okay. There's a little ultra lounge in there called Aura. Okay. It's a nice little lounge. So, but, now, obviously, you got a job. But yeah. your side thing, or maybe it's your thing, I see at a lot of these competitions, you're on the uh, FBA Pro Tour right now. Uh, and the Advanced, advanced Tour. tour. But, In fact, yeah. um, place, you're seated first right now. Yeah. So when it's all said and done, I, I, are you still going to be there? Is it pretty much a lock right now? It's, yeah, I have enough points where it's it's locked in. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Now, let me ask you this, though. You're touring around. You obviously got to do a lot of comps and everything. Keeps you a little bit away from the job. Let me yeah. ask you some Comparing the different competitions, is there one competition that you go, you know what, I can't miss this one each year? Not yet. This is my first year doing Quest. Uh, there are still a lot of competitions that, well, not a lot, but there's a few I haven't done. Mm -hmm. But... Pinnacle by far was one of the funnest ones I've gone to. Um, Vegas is close, so I obviously do a lot of Vegas comps. Mm -hmm. This is my first year doing Quest and had a blast so far, so I more than most likely will be here next year. Now, has it? you've obviously heard about Quest throughout the years, and that's what we're here for, Quest 09. Yeah. You've heard about it over the years. Has it been living up to the hype so far, or are you more concentrated on focus on the whole competing? This, uh, surprisingly, doing so many competitions this year, I'm, I'm tired. So I'm, <laughs> like I'm, I'm tired. I'm ready just to relax and have fun. Mm -hmm. We got a chance to go to the park today, ride some rides. So now it's just fun. Time to relax. Just yeah. go up there, throw a show. So I, I, you bring it up. You went to the park today. You have a, the finals are tonight. We got yeah. you here to the show before the finals. And you, other bartenders are practicing, and you say, you know what? I'm going to ride the rides. <laughs> I love it. I love it because that shows to me, it shows, you know what? I'm confident in what I do. I'm good at what I do. And how do you, is, it, is that your way of relaxing before? Like some people, they'll put in their iPods, they want to practice for the club. Was your mentality, I'm relaxing the night before? And I'm morning relaxing. Of? Yeah, morning of. If, if I can't hit a few of the moves now, I'm not going to accomplish that in an hour in the practice room. Mm -hmm. I needed to put a few pieces of my routine together today. I, I kind of did it mentally. Yesterday qualifying, I was able to kind of group everything and... and put the show together then. Today it's kind of fine tuning it and I'll just warm up in the practice room, get the muscles warmed up, loosen up. Now let me ask you this, um, I know it happens to people, some people don't even bartend, they have other jobs, but it happens to them. Do you ever, and you gotta be honest here, we lay it all out here on this show, do you ever just wake up in the middle of the night and go, man that would be a great move, I gotta try that. <laughs> Does that happen? Yes, it does. It does? Yes, it does. And does it come out the same way, or then is it hard to go back? Do you actually get up out of bed and practice it, or is it something to go, oh, I'll hit that later? When I first started, I, I did that quite a few times. Like the first couple of years, I'd wake up and boom, straight in the garage. Mm -hmm. Now it's something I'll, I'll kind of wake up in the morning, and hopefully it's still fresh on my mind, mm -hmm. and, and go back to it. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it'll take a couple of weeks to remember it, mm -hmm. and then I'll, I'll get back to it. And you'll put it back on. Anything new coming up for you in the next say, year? A couple months? Got to work on any new websites or anything? Um, not much right now. We're still just trying to push Reno. Trying to, We have a couple competitions there two times a year. One's coming up in February. So we're hoping to have a pro and an advanced, uh, have it on both tours. Okay. So last year we kicked it off with the two competitions. They were pretty big hits, pretty big turnouts. So hopefully this coming year it's gonna be a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. They're pretty supportive with Flair and you know, they, they just, they wanna do competitions. They wanna help us out, so. You know. Well, if I could help out in any way, I like Reno. I've been there, like the show, so if you need anything, you know where to find me and everything. We're going to have more with Eric Parker right after this.